Uma Nermanegedov. <laughs> Nermanegedov. Craig Jones here, Ground Karate Expert. I'm going to break down some submissions here today. I mean, first of all, he's got a phenomenal body. I don't know if uh, Yasada tested him. To give up his back here. That's exactly what We've got a rear naked choke here. Looks pretty good to me. And he gets the rear naked. Got the job done good enough, you know. He shouldn't go above and beyond. You see Mohammed not tapping. All right, we've got number two here. Makayev getting knee barred. I mean, the knee bar was good. It injured him. He just didn't want to tap. A lot of these guys don't like to tap their leg locks. And the guy's holding on like it's a bad relationship, but he's doesn't have the angle, really. But I think Makayev would have just let it break no matter what. I mean, I don't know what the recovery period was on that, but that was pretty rough. But I think uh, sometimes when you miss a submission like that, you just quit because you're like, fuck, the guy's not going to tap. I'll give up. I'll let him win this one. And that's what I think happened with the rear naked there. It's over the face. It's painful. But it's not choking him, but he's probably quit, which is something I will do in matches as well if I feel like I can't win. Only six months later, he's, Makayev's come back and his knee's working somehow. Uh, I mean, it's a good arm train because he leaves his leg over the top of the body. That makes it much better. Um, I think that's pretty tight. Makayev's got good technique here. Props to Makayev. I don't even know how to say his last name, to be honest. Khabib's cousin, relative. But he's got a super deep rear naked choke here. I've made a lot of bad jokes about Khabib and Islam's team, so I'm a bit scared to make any more in case they hurt me. But he's put him to sleep here. I mean, yeah, the technique is pretty hard to criticize, this technique here. Super clean, gets one arm around, blocks the other arm. And I don't know why the guy doesn't tap. I feel like you should just tap. It's more embarrassing to go to sleep than it is to tap out, I think. But yeah, perfect by Umar here. All right, we got Tyson Pedro. Tyson Pedro competes this weekend. I believe he had like 17 ACL surgeries and we lost him for a few years there. But he's got a nice, I mean, he's flattened him out. It started across the face. I think it was painful. So the guy uh, lifted his chin and gave him a clean, a clean rear naked. But Tyson, I've trained with him before. He's a good, he's a good guy, a big scary dude as well. So I won't say anything about his technique really. Alex Perez, he looks pretty strong. I mean, he's got the arm triangle. He's pushing off his toes here. But yeah, I think it's hard to finish, but it's still, you can get the job done. He's got a good angle there. You can make it work. The other guy's not doing anything at all either, so that's not gonna be working out too well for him. He should probably be trying something. The guy lifted his hand up to think about tapping, so that's a good sign. And actually he's gone to sleep, eh? Tyson Pedro's back. He rips the Kimura, probably actually injures this guy's arm immediately. He thinks he's Kazushi Sakuraba just ripping a Kimura. And I don't even know why this guy's not tapping. Hey, he must not have many other things going on in his life if he's not tapping to that. Like, let it go, bro. It's over. Match? No, that, that name does sound familiar. I mean, he's locked up a perfect triangle. The guy's squirting blood all over. It's pretty disgusting, yeah. And he's gone to sleep on it. The comeback fight's already cool, but I imagine he's probably taking some damage as well. That's got to suck, waking up covered in your own blood, especially if you're winning. But yeah, the technique's perfect. UFC Vegas 87, we saw a bunch of submissions here. If I offended any of you MMA fighters with very healthy egos, please don't take it to heart. I'm just a grappler, don't hurt me. I'm very happy with what I saw. And Fight Pass Invitational 6 happening this Sunday. If you want to see some really talented grapplers, that's where you'd go. You could probably skip Saturday night if you want some real grappling.